Hello guys, welcome back to the next video on Recycler View. I'm Annie from Smart Hut. In this video, we will be learning how to add or delete the items in the Recycler View. And we will also see the default animation, how it is used and provided by the Recycler View widget. Let's move to Android Studio and start implementing the codes. We will continue with the previous application that we had made and implemented the Recycler View. But before that, let's see and have an overview of what are the methods that are required to add and delete items. For the add operation, we need the method notify item inserted. This notify item inserted will insert an item into the Recycler view and the position is the variable which will indicate in which position the item has to be inserted. For the delete operation, we need the method notify item removed. Same way the position will notify the position from which the item has been removed. Besides this, for the insert and the remove operation, we will also be needing another function as notify item range changed, which will have two parameters. One is the position and the second is the item count. We have to call this function in addition to the above methods for adding or deleting the item. We will see the difference when we do not use and when we use this function of notify item range changed. So let us move to Android Studio and implement this functions in our application. So in Android Studio, I have made few changes in the my adapter class. In the my adapter class, for the onbind view holder method, I have called the function set listeners with reference to the holder object of my view holder class. In the set listeners function, which I have defined in my view holder class, what I have done is for the delete, for the copy, and for the thumbnail image, I have set the on click listeners and passed my view holder dot this. Now for each of this in which the on click listener is set, here is the on click function. When the delete icon is clicked, we can perform certain operation. When the copy is clicked, we can perform certain operation and on clicking the thumbnail image, we can perform certain other operations. So for that, I have defined the switch case statement. Instead of delete and copy, you can use your own icons and perform your own operations by using the switch case statement. So now this view comes from the set on click listener and using this view, we fetch the ID of the item that is clicked and depending on the ID, the operation is performed. In case if it is the delete icon, this delete icon has the ID of image delete which I have given in the list item dot XML. This is the ID for the delete button and this is the ID for the copy button. And for the thumbnail image, the ID is IMG thumb. So moving back to my adapter dot Java, when the ID of the icon that is clicked is IMG delete, it will remove the item from the respective position. This remove item is the custom method that I have defined here. This remove item will fetch the position as the parameter from the object list. The item in this position will be removed and then the notify item removed is called. This function will notify the adapter that there is the change made in this position. What is the change made? The change made is that an item is removed from this position. So it will notify the adapter so that it can update itself accordingly. If the image copy icon is clicked, the add item function will be called. This add item will pass two parameters. One is the position and next is the current object. It will add this current object, which is the object of nature model class in this position. So the current object will be added in this position and accordingly the adapter will be notified that an item is inserted at this position. In the slides I had shown to use the notify item range changed along with this function. But let us first see 
what happens if we don't use this function while inserting and removing the items. Now let us run our application and see if this remove and add functionality is successfully implemented. Here is our application up and running. Now let us see if the delete and add operation is working for this. On hitting the copy, we can see this item layout is replicated. On hitting copy again, we can see another item is replicated. Now, this way we can see the copy is working fine. Now moving to the end of our application. If we hit copy here, this layout is again replicated. It is working fine. Now let us move to the top. On deleting this, it is again working. But we saw here, when we clicked on delete of this thing, now we can see here is a mismatch of this copy operation that is going on. When I hit the copy of picture 1, we saw that the item got replicated after picture 2. On clicking here again, it is again replicating after picture 2. Now if I delete this and again copy picture 2, we can see it is getting replicated after picture 1. On deleting picture 0, we saw the picture 1 getting deleted. This way we can see that the counter for the adapter is not getting updated. On hitting the delete of 0, the picture 2 got deleted. This way we can see that our delete and copy operation is not working fine. We can see here on clicking delete for this, some other item got deleted. On deleting picture 1, we got some other items deleted. This way we can see that our counter is not getting updated. Now moving down, there is another bug for this delete and copy operation. If we delete this, it is working fine. Now if we delete this, it is working cool. On hitting delete, and now deleting 75, we can see our application crashed. This is because the adapter is not updating the counter. So this is what happens if we don't use notify item range changed. If you want to have a closer look at it, you can implement the log in the onCreateViewHolder method and the onBindViewHolder method. You can have a closer look at the bug which is present in the recycler view. Now let us uncomment this notify item range changed and this notify item range changed for the addition and removal of the items. Once this is done, let us see what happens if we run our application. Let us see if the bug is removed and if the copy and the delete operation is working without any problem. So here is our application up and running. Let us see if the delete and the copy operation works fine with the addition of this method. On copying this, it is getting copied successfully without any issue. There is no mismatch in the place like it was occurring in the previous demo. Now on deleting this, our application is working fine. We can see the magic that the notify item range changed function has brought to the recycler view operations. This method enables the adapter to update its counter by sending the position and updating the size of the object list. Now let us see the bug that was occurring in the end of the recycler view. On copying this, it is working fine. When we delete this item, 
it is getting deleted without any crashing of our application. So this was the recycler view and the card view. There is another method notify data set changed. We used to use it with the list view in the Android application. You can comment this lines of code and uncomment the notify data set changed to see the change in our application that occurs. I'll leave it for you to check yourself and see the difference. Now there was another thing the main activity dot Java. In the main activity dot Java, we had the set item animator method. You can uncomment this to see what happens while we carry out the operation of the item add and item delete in the recycler view. This notified data set change when used will not apply any kind of animation to the add and delete operation. This animation will not work with notify data set changed method. You can comment and uncomment things yourself and see the difference. Stay tuned for the upcoming video. Thanks for watching. Keep smiling and have a good day.